In this video, I'm gonna be photographing wildlife using only this remote shutter here. The hard part is this bird is one of the rarest in my area. As you can see in this range map below, this particular bird isn't even supposed to be here. I've been studying this vermilion flycatcher before today on multiple visits and trying to find what perches he likes to land on. In wildlife photography, predicting the behavior of an animal can yield some amazing results. But what I'm trying to do today is extra special because I have a vision of capturing this bird incredibly close up with its wings full spread in flight. This means that I'll need to get closer than I ever have to this bird without scaring it, while having my camera set up at the perfect angle. Upon arrival today, I took a quick inventory of some of my surroundings and noticed a couple of different animal species from the common ground squirrels to the white crowned sparrows of my area. Most notably, I got to watch a California scrub jay bury an acorn in front of me. These guys are known for burying hidden catches of food storage in the ground and are quite protective of their food. One of the things that will help us achieve the shot of the vermilion flycatcher is their unique behavior of flycatching. Flycatching is known as when a bird will fly off a perch to catch a bug in midair only to return to the exact same location on the perch. After studying this vermilion flycatcher over multiple trips, I've discovered that it really likes to spend most of its day perched along four perches in this canal. Three out of those four perches are really bad angles or inaccessible. So our goal today is gonna to be trying to use this perch right back here to get some good shots since it's at eye level and offers some good lighting and we can get pretty close up to it. Now the challenge was coming. After setting up the camera angle in the correct spot, it was time to move away from the perch that we had set up for. I attached the remote shutter to the camera and prepared for some shots of the flycatcher. Using a remote shutter for wildlife is gonna allow the vermilion flycatcher to feel more comfortable and enabled to approach the perch rather than if we were standing right next to the camera since it's so close. It would feel intimidated by our presence. This perch, however, is definitely the least used of the four perches I talked about. So it's gonna take a little bit of time and patience for him to land in the right area, but I'm confident that eventually this shot is gonna pay off. After spending a few hours waiting for the bird to take to the perch, there was finally a moment where the bird flew up towards the perch and took to it. But unfortunately, the moment was slightly missed. So close, we got the shot, but unfortunately we got him approaching from a little bit lower than the perch. So at the moment where we get his wings spread and he's almost in focus, um, he's slightly behind the twig and I don't really like that about this shot. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just Wait around a little bit more. Hopefully we get a better chance next time where he approaches more from a top angle and we can get his full body spread um, open, get his chest all the way down to his feet and his wings spread open. So we're gonna try again to see if we uh, are successful next time. Even though my first chance had failed, I wasn't going to give up that easily. After waiting around for almost another hour, I had a second opportunity at catching him on camera. All right, you guys, let's check and see if we got the shot this time. We had a higher approach from the vermilion flycatcher, so I have a really good feeling about this one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, that is the perfect moment. Oh my goodness, you guys, we got the shot with his wings spread wide open, full body is visible. That is just an amazing image right there. Oh my goodness. Before leaving, I decided to make one more attempt at getting the bird with a little more green in the background by raising the camera angle. And I had one more encounter with the bird returning and I was able to capture a stunning image of him flying once again. There are few colors you'll ever see so vivid as that of the vermilion flycatchers. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe below and if you want to see another video like this one, make sure to check out the two videos here.